All right, all right, guys. Today's video, we got a terrific treat for you because we're going to talk about how much snowfall you've received so far this winter. And we're going to compare it to average winters. And then I'm also going to forecast how much more snow you could receive. Now, we're going to go region by region across the United States in this video and take a look at this. Now, before we begin, click the subscribe button below and bell notifications if you're new and you like daily forecast updates in depth, more in depth than you'd see on TV, and cutting edge weather forecasting videos on this channel. We've got a rapidly growing community of weather enthusiasts, thousands to be exact. So let's get right into it here. Now, what we're going to do is go region by region here. Now, this is the annual average snowfall right here. So anywhere north of this line, you're seeing more than six inches a year. Below that, it's usually sometimes you'll get snow. And then if you do, it's usually less than six inches. Now, we're going to come back to this map. What we're looking at here is the northwestern United States to kick things off. This is your snowfall through December, you know, mid late December here. And this is how much snowfall that you've received so far this season. Now, obviously more is coming, but you can already see totals in the really the three to six feet range, even more than that in the upper elevations. Now, obviously this happens every winter, but this is starting out above average for many of these places. You can even see some hundred plus inch amounts in Wyoming. And then obviously another uh, decent area of snow out here towards Washington and Oregon. And again, this has been above average so far. If you compare this to the uh, National Weather Service's average, you know, like some of those areas we we're looking at 60 to 84 inches or so. And then obviously up here, much more than that, you're over 150 inches in Washington. Now, there's a little bit of smoothing with this map potentially and fine details that are missing, but you know, I, very accurate for the most part. And if, if you go back, you can see much above average really for this region right here and points westward especially. So starting off above average, really I'd say Idaho and points west with uh, the snowfall. We'll look at the forecasted amounts in a second, but we're gonna go region by region here. Obviously, uh, Look at California now and, and points west of there and plenty of snow down here and uh, lots of snow in Nevada as well. Now, if you compare this to annual average, you know, most of Nevada here in that 20 to 30 inch, 15 to 30 inch range. You look at this map and, uh, you know, western or the eastern half is going to check in at 30 to 60 inches plus in some areas even more than that. So, you know, Nevada is a little bit below average but again this is for the entire year and so far this is what's been occurring just uh, this month or this past couple months so you know lots of snow so far for the northwestern united states and parts of california how about the north central united states north central united states might quite honestly be the most extreme area of snowfall so far this winter this red line right here is a foot plus so remember that now and then we'll go back and look at this this is, again, the whole entire winter, and you can see in this green area right here, kind of where that foot plus was, the annual average is 24 to 34 inches. North of that line, it's 36 to as much as maybe 48 or so inches, and then obviously up in the lakes, it's going to be you know, 60 to 90 inches or so. But if you compare this to that map, we're talking 30s and 40s for the entire year, well, you go back to the northern U.S., you're already dealing with 60 inches in some of this area, 30 to 60 inches. And this is only through December. I mean, we got January, February, March, sometimes April to stack even more snow up in this region. And it's forecasted to be above average in those months as well. So much above average snowfall, really, honestly, uh, through about this line and points north. A little bit of a below average spot here in southwest Iowa and southeast Nebraska, which is interesting. A little dome kind of carrying things around it so very much above average percentage wise i don't know it's very high so you go back and then we look at the uh, central united states for the most part even the central u.s is uh doing pretty well and you, you look at uh, this line right here this darker shade that's about 12 to 18 inches you go back to the map and so far really kind of along that line or just north you're already getting six to 12 inches up there so that place is really starting off above average as well. The, the snow line doesn't go much past northern Oklahoma and southern Kansas and the Texas Panhandle. Really nothing below that. And you look at this map and, uh, you know, kind of the same thing. Below that line, you only get about 6 to 12 inches a year anyway. So 
that area it's harder to tell what's gonna you know you're kind of average in that area so we'll go out and we'll look at the uh, midwest region again this region right here in points north seeing six to twelve inches plus you know this region kind of up here 12 to 24 and then up here three feet four feet some places much more near the lakes where there's lake effect snow and you know you compare that to this uh, annual average map and you know it's uh doing it's already near average for most places uh north of iowa for the most part so you know some areas kind of half of average but really it's mostly north of iowa as you get towards minnesota wisconsin those areas are almost average you know obviously the lakes have lots of snow as well this area kind of checking in half the amount of snow kind of long and south of i-80 so you know that area will end up uh, near average i think this winter uh, maybe slightly above average now we're going to go over towards the uh, southeastern united states and really the only snow to talk about here is uh in northern mississippi alabama parts of Ms., uh, arkansas and then up to tennessee there was a little nice snowstorm that kind of zipped through that area you know a annual average for that area you can see obviously see mostly below six inches so you're obviously clocking in above average for that area already this winter and it's only december now we'll have to watch to see if any more storms do get that far south but there was a nice setup earlier this month now as we go towards the mid-atlantic region best area of snow here is kind of you know in the hills and the, the appalachians maybe uh, a little bit northeast or northwest of there too and uh you're talking six to 12 inches you look at this map obviously in this region right here you're dealing with really i mean the light blue is about 24 inches so a couple feet and then obviously really in that core you're dealing with 60 to 80 inches plus and if you go back to this map not quite there so it's it's much below average but you do have about a foot maybe as much as two feet in some of those areas so starting off kind of slow out there but that will kick up later in the season as January and February are your main months for snow in that region. You go farther north in the northeastern United States, this line right here, generally speaking, is going to see anywhere between 40 and all the way up to 150 inches near the lakes. But most areas in here in the northeast besides the lakes are going to see somewhere around that 50 to 80 inch mark. So it's kind of your average up in that region. You look at the uh, snowfall amounts really in that same area and you know you're dealing with about one to two feet for the most part the lakes clocking in around 30 to 40 inches or so in these regions right here so about half the amount uh, maybe, well, actually maybe a third of the amount and then obviously in the northeastern united states probably about half or uh, about a, a quarter to a third of the amount so still a lot of work to do here in the northeastern united states you know, you sum this all up, and then we'll look at the forecast in a second. And really, areas kind of around here and all the way out to about this region right here, they're clocking in, and then also this area right here, clocking in much above average so far this season. And some of these areas already have more than annual snowfall totals. This region right here and kind of this region up in this area. So, so far, doing really well in those regions. The areas that still have some work to do are probably going to be kind of the northeastern United States, maybe as far west as the, the extreme eastern half, the Midwest. But for the most part, I think that's going to change this winter. And so why, why is that going to happen? Well, we've got a lot of warm waters out here in the northeastern United States, warm waters off the coast as well. That's going to be some wild card factors. I think you're going to see a lot of ridging. There's a lot of warm waters in the northeast towards the Gulf, uh, Gulf uh, part of uh, Alaska here and northwest part. And you're going to get some ridging that moves up. Not, not the only thing. you got uh, neutral La Nina or uh, Lutro Enzo as well. And that can uh, cause a cooler than, act, uh, cooler than average pattern in the north central and northeastern United States and kind of active across the Midwest and East Coast as well. There's obviously other factors going on. But I think you're going to see more of this kind of pattern. Not exactly. This is just kind of an example I pulled off. But you get you get more uh, ridging out here. That's going to kind of shunt cold air down from uh, Canada. So you get some ridging out there and you get troughing and Arctic blasts that move into the East Coast. Now, I don't think it's going to be historic by any stretch of the imagination. I know there's a lot of people saying it's going to be historic. I don't see it. 
There's some things missing. There's also a lot of warm or uh, warm air off here, and, and I think that's going to shunt storms off just a little bit farther to the northwest as well. But it's still, I, I'm forecasting below average and above average snow. So below average temperatures and above average snow. And speaking of which, here's my snowfall outlook. So far, uh, you know, and you look at this, so this is, the line of above average, 25% or greater above average. So 25% of your annual snowfall, you add that on to your annual snowfall. So slightly above average in that light blue, moderately above average here in the dark blue. This is already verified up here. You go out to the uh, Midwest and far interior Northeast. And I do also have that area in above average snow, especially as you head towards the uh, Ohio area, Ohio Valley. Now, I am releasing a new winter forecast here, just kind of an update as we head towards, you know, the first week of winter. And there is going to be some changes out here, so stay tuned to that. And then obviously out here because things already already are verifying out there. And then you go out to the southwestern United States, and I have that at, area out as below average. So, you know, that area has uh, so far, you know, it still has some work to do out there, so we'll see what happens. But it has uh, it been pretty impressive, a little more impressive than I thought in terms of uh, rainfall and snowfall amounts, and that's much needed for that area. Out here I had it as average. Now obviously some areas in there probably will end up above average, but this is kind of an average for the entire zone you see in here. So there's that, and then obviously the southeastern United States I have as average. Look at this area. I had that above average, and that's already starting to verify up here. Now you look at... Uh, the blizzard potential, and this is another map I made. This is the highest threat for blizzards. A three or greater essentially means a three out of five chance that you'll be under a blizzard warning, okay, by the National Weather Service. Now, you can see the three out of five extends kind of right in this line right here. So this is kind of the tipping point over 50%, going to be in the northern plains and also the far interior northeastern United States, where I think there's a good shot you could see a blizzard warning sometime this winter, particularly in the north central United States. So that's kind of an update. Now comment below, what type of weather data do you want me to do time lapse? Because I'm thinking about doing some time lapses here as we head in towards the new year to kind of uh, recap what 2018 was like. So I do radar time lapses, satellite time lapses, time lapses of the jet stream. Comment some ideas below and we can uh, do some of that. So hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, hit those bell notifications, comment below, smash that thumbs up button. Share this with a friend and hope you have a great day.